Now that we're into exponential functions, it's a good time to review our properties of exponents. All of these properties should be a review from Algebra 1. One thing we must keep in mind is m and n are integers, and all denominators and bases must be non-zero. So look over this table, pause if you need to, and then let's move into this example below. Use the properties of exponents to simplify each expression. So in part A, the first thing I'm going to focus on is my coefficients. 2 times a negative is negative 2. And then, then I'm going to focus on my x's. x to the negative 2 times x to the 4th. I add my exponents. That makes x squared. And last, I'll focus on my y's. y to the 3rd times y. Adding my exponents makes y to the 4th. Now, one thing we must keep in mind is that we can't have negatives in our denominator at any time. I'm sorry, zero in our denominator at any time. So we notice x to the negative 2 would have actually been 1 over x squared. So therefore, we add the exclusion x cannot equal 0 because at some point in that problem, we would have had 0 in our denominator without that restriction. In part B, we have everything in this parenthesis being raised to the zero power. We remember anything raised to the zero power is one, except for zero. So remember, our bases here cannot be zero if we're raised to the zero power. So we know a cannot equal zero and b cannot equal zero because we cannot raise zero to the zeroth power. Now let's look at c. So the first thing I see in c is this third power. So now I'll have negative five to the third times z to the third and I'll still have z squared. So now if I simplify, negative 5 to the third is negative 125. And if I multiply z cubed times z squared, adding my exponents, I get z to the fifth. No excluded values for this problem. Now in part d, I have this fraction. Now, you might approach this in a different order than I do, but that's okay. I'm just going to explain it the way that makes most sense to me. The first thing I pay attention to is inside my parentheses, there's x to the fourth over x squared. So I'm actually going to simplify that first. That might not have been your first thought, but it's okay. So the 3 and the y squared are not changing, but x to the fourth over x squared simplifies to be x squared. Now what I'll do is distribute this square to everything inside of my parentheses. So that makes 3 squared x to the fourth over y to the fourth. Because remember, when you raise a power to a power, you multiply these exponents. So now I have 9x to the fourth over y to the fourth. But remember, this is going to have some exclusions because we don't want our denominator to be 0. So therefore, x cannot equal 0 and y cannot equal 0. So therefore, we don't have any undefined values along the way.